Now, this could be a tough topic, but the HPV vaccine is something for parents to consider and talk to your child's doctor about. It prevents sexually transmitted infection and several different cancers in both girls and boys. Again, may not be a topic you want to tackle with your preteen, but Consumer Reports says that's exactly the age to be thinking about it. Here's Vicki Yates. As a pediatrician, Dr. Wendy Proskin understands the importance of vaccinations, particularly against human papillomavirus or HPV. It's the only vaccine we have that prevents cancer. Roughly 79 million Americans are infected with HPV and an estimated 14 million new HPV infections occur every year with half of those in people between 15 and 24 years old. But it doesn't discriminate by gender. HPV is the most common sexually transmitted infection in both males and females. It can cause genital warts and several different kinds of cancer, including cervical cancer and cancer of the mouth and throat. The good news is studies have found that the FDA approved vaccine can be nearly 100 percent effective. Yet adoption has been extremely low, while the rate of some of the associated cancers remains high, which has medical experts at Consumer Reports concerned. There are very few side effects. If parents can get on board and start vaccinating their kids, HPV can probably be eradicated. Given as a series of three injections, ideally over six months, the vaccine is most effective when it's given before any possible exposure to the virus, which means before kids are sexually active. Parents question why they're giving it to their 11-year-old, but concerns about it encouraging sexual promiscuity are unfounded. It is an important conversation for parents and doctors to have. Pediatricians like Dr. Proskin agree. Vicki Yates, News Channel 5. And while it is best to get the vaccine as a preteen, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say it may be given through age 26. The CDC also says protection from the vaccine lasts at least 8 to 10 years, possibly longer. The effectiveness is also being monitored to, to determine if a booster might be needed.